Is that red alert for me? <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Bob Bowersox. Welcome to the Star Trek universe. Our guest tonight will be Marina Sirtis. And what do you see her? She's not quite like uh, a Betazoid anymore. She's completely changed her look and I think you're gonna love it. We are also gonna be uh, talking with a lot of you and asking questions. You, you may ask questions of Marina and we're gonna be inviting you to use our fax number tonight to uh, send your questions or comments along to Marina uh, and uh, myself about uh, maybe generations. It's 1-800-345 1131. If you'd like to fax us, if you have a fax machine at home, you can fax us at that number toll free. That's 1 800 345 1131 for questions for Marina Sirtis um, about uh, Star Trek, any era. And we'll have a lot of fun interacting with her tonight. Let me show you a few of the things that we're planning. Lots of wonderful gift ideas. If you have a Star Trek fan at home, this is the show because we have put together some beauties, such as the Star Trek VII Generations movie poster. Now, we had the teaser poster last show when Michael Dorn was here. You'll remember that. Well, this is the actual in-theater movie poster now. And it is a beauty with Shatner and... Stewart on the front there. Two captains, one destiny. It's only $15. And it's a big piece, too. 27 by 39 and a half inches. C15738. And of course, the movie opens this November. We'll be showing you a trailer from the movie in this show. Also brand new, and this is a remarkable opportunity for you Star Trek fans. And um, it is one thing that we are probably never going to be able to do again. In film, the first image that goes down on the film when they do a take of a scene is called a first strike image. In other words, it's directly to the original film. Well, this is a first strike image of Relics, the one where uh, Scotty comes back and visits the Enterprise. For $149, you're going to get three frames of first strike film from that image. Now that is not a reproduced, it's the film from the can when they shot the scene. And we've blown it up into a picture that you can see on the plaque and it's lit from behind as well to show you the images on each frame of film. This is a beautiful opportunity. It's brand new tonight. If you want it, you're gonna have to hurry. We will not be able to repeat this offer. Probably not this one either. How would you like to own the final script from All Good Things, the final episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. This is an actual script from that show. $25 is the QVC price, C15737. And it has a final draft date of March 10th, 1994. 138 pages, and it's a, a, a piece that was given to us directly from Paramount. Here's the piece I showed you earlier, the Next Generation Starfleet CD-ROM tour. This is actually taken from the book by Michael Okuda and Rick Sternbach. And uh, if you would like to see what real true CD-ROM interactive is going to be in the future, look at it here. Item E9576, only $54, 100 QuickTime movies, 86 QuickTime virtual reality panoramas, 60 computer animations, 100 photographic enlargements, 40,000 words of text. It is a real work of art for the Star Trek fan with a CD-ROM computer. By the way, we're going to offer a CD-ROM computer on this show in case you'd like to pick that up too. This sold out the last show uh, with Michael Dorn. It's the Star Trek Encyclopedia, and it is a work of art as well. For 1657, you have every possible reference from all series, shows, and all films. And F4958, written by Michael Okuda and uh, his wife and a friend. And this is really the nice piece that you've been looking for for a compendium, F4958. And we have the stamp pack back again after having sold out last time, $27.50. A sheet lit of nine stamps that are actual uh, coin of the realm, if you will, from the Caribbean islands of St. Vincent or the Grenadines. You can mail these, but I don't think you want to. And you're going to get all nine, and they are all taken from the final episode, C15161. And we have the next generation movie soundboard pin. This is what the soundboard pin looks like in the films. And unlike the other soundboard pins that we've had, which were nickel and brass, this is silver and gold for $32.62, and it's J27705. As far as jewelry, uh, also we have the Bajoran earring back in this show. We'll get to that in a little while. And here is the whole crew in six-foot stand-ups. You can actually place them around your room if you'd like to. You get all seven members 
$25 a piece, J15756, uh, and you can see all of them done in corrugated cardboard in full color, life size in your house. And we have the Future Communicator soundboard pin too. This is from Future Imperfect, the episode where Riker is the captain in the future. $33 normally. The introductory price is $29.96. It's J21418. 1-800-345-1515 is the number to call. And you can give us that call right now and also fax us at 1-800-345-1131. And we'll take your uh, faxes and your phone calls throughout the show. Welcome back to the Star Trek universe, and we welcome back Marina Sirtis. Hi, Hi Marina. Bob, how are you nice, doing? <laughs> nice to see you. We have to talk. When we get to this, you have to talk. Okay. <laughs> We're talking about the cut it's back there, and uh, it's actually a nice likeness of you, but it's not anymore. Not anymore. No. Yeah, this is actually, this is the first time my new hairdo is on television. That's right. Give you a quick swish. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just looking at Troy back there. She's actually about nine inches taller than me in real right. life. She's actually taller than Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think he'd be too pleased about that. Yeah. Well, we're going to get into those. There you go. By uh, about an inch, it looks like. Yeah, it's hair. It's hair. It's big hair. He looks unhappy about it, too. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I think he knew. Look, she's taller than me. That's right. Well, we're going to talk with Marina about all kinds of things tonight, including generations. But let's get you started with uh, the plaque that Marina signed from the final season. And uh, this is, um, I think, the nicest picture of you. With the hair is a little more relaxed. We've ever had, yes. Yeah, and you really have a... a, a a great look on your face, and it's not that horrible uniform that you hated. I know. This is my favorite uniform now. I mean, it the really blue was. And black. Yeah. I, I, I just felt the character changed when she got her, her uniform back. And, well, mm -hmm. back, she started wearing a uniform. She got a lot more responsibility. It's kind of. Um, there's always the, the problem with Troy and her hair, mm -hmm. because we had a lot of hair changes. It's different in the movie, again. Oh, is it? Yeah, so um, depending on, you know, how next time we meet, whenever that is, uh, this might be uh, the last time we see yeah. this particular hairstyle again. Well, I don't it, know. It's, it's like every time I come on, so this is the last time you're going to see this <laughs> hairstyle. <laughs> well, they changed. You, you and Worf changed a lot. You and Michael Dorn's character, yeah. they changed every season. This one is only $119, and it is a limited edition, a very limited edition, usually with these uh, plaques. They're 2,500 pieces. This is only 950 pieces, which is why Marina can still use her hand. Well, yeah, uh, I, I had to draw the line <laughs> somewhere. I've got a callus on my finger from all the autographs I've been signing. It's done beautifully in that silver ink, and it almost looks, um, your, your signature looks uh, very continental. It's con Well, at least you can read my signature. I mean, I hate to say this about my good friend Michael Dawn, but his I knew just, you were going to cut him. He was, his, was just, his is just a scrawl. At least you can see this says vaguely Marina Sirtis. My, Marina called Michael last time. Uh, he threatened the uh, last time he was on. He, he threatened to kick her dog, and she took umbrage to that. Well, and, and you, you two have been. Uh, we've we've had this <laughs> we've had this dog in contention for a long time. I finally figured it out. I have a very small dog. Mm -hmm. He's five pounds. He's a toy Yorkie, and um, I've just figured out uh, testosterone and small dogs just don't mix. So <laughs> that's the problem. Is that what it is? Yeah.